What's up, y'all? So this is not my actual grandma's chili rice recipe. In fact, I've never even had a chili rice or chili and rice together before, but the restaurant I ordered from, that's what they're calling it. So that's what I'm going with. And I'll tell you what, it looks super home style and it does look something that, you know, a grandma would whip up for you real quick. I got two orders of this and laid it out here. It was $27, but this is not all. It also comes with two large cups of cheddar cheese and two cups of sour cream, I guess one each for each order. And uh, let me just go ahead and put that on right now. I think I'm gonna go half of it, actually, let me do a little ratio. Cause I'm really interested after I ordered this, I was like, what would cheddar cheese and rice straight up? What would that combo taste like? So I'm gonna go about two thirds on the chili itself and then a third on the rice. Oh, stickage. Pretty fine shred here. And I'll probably be mixing all the rice and the chili eventually, so it's all gonna get mixed up as it is. And let's do the uh, sour cream. So I've seen this a couple times, but this is the first time I've seen it that looks really good with the cheddar cheese and the sour cream. It's smelling really good in here. I can't wait to dig in. Like I said, I've never had chili and rice that combination before but you can't really go wrong with it i think it's kind of a a debated food combo some people are big fans of the combo they probably only eat chili with rice and some people are like nah that ain't it um uh, me personally growing up i always had it with saltines and uh maybe some cornbread but yeah never with rice which does make a lot of sense let's try it out i'm just gonna go ahead and try a bite of this chili first I guess I never really gave you a good close-up of it, but uh, this is the bite I'm going for. It looks absolutely delicious. Go on in. So good. So far. Mighty fine. Love me some chili. Loved, I've loved chili ever since I was a kid. The more cheddar cheese, the better. Oh, man. And let me tell you, I was hungry today. Mmm. Real fine cut of the of the beef, real fine grind grind of it, I should say. Uh, I think there's beans in here. It's, it's everything you want in a good chili. Actually, I don't know what kind of beans. It looks like they're using beans that you would see in kind of a baked bean, which is a unique, unique little twist on it. But it's not about the chili, it's about the combo. This video is all about the combo. And is it something that you should be eating as well? Rice with chili going in. Yes, yes it is. Yes it is. Mm. Just got a pinto, so there are Pintos in here as well. But let me just tell you, chili, I almost find it weird that people just eat chili without like a starchy side, you know what I mean? Maybe, like I said, you sprinkle some crackers, some saltines over the top, or you might have like some cornbread like I was saying, but I feel like with American food, and you can, you can also debate where chili is from, I guess, but you know, the chili with beans and, and meat, a lot of times when I was a kid, I was just eating it by itself, maybe without any kind of extra kind of starchy, like bread or without anything else. And that's kind of weird because usually with American food, there's always kind of that bread component. What I was trying to say here basically is like the example I should have given was chili is like a meat sauce, maybe with some other things in there for sure. But so it was like a spaghetti bolognese, the meat sauce for that a ragu, there's other things in there too. But you wouldn't just eat that with a spoon and maybe like dip some bread into it, you could. But you mix it with pasta and that's what you're doing there. Th same thing with chili, why don't you make chili pasta? No, I'm just kidding, there is a Cincinnati chili. Well, that Cincinnati stuff is actually legit, but you get what I'm trying to say, right? I don't know. Oh man, this is this is delicious. 
so chili, it's a very strong flavor. At least it can be, it should be, if it's good. It's not mild, all right? You're not, you're not like, where's the flavor? A good chili should have a lot of flavor and stretching it with rice uh, is the perfect way to do it if you wanna feed a lot of people, if you're on a budget, whatever. You can stretch your meal by adding this rice. By the way, let me just try this rice with the cheese. Never had just cheese and rice before. That's fire. Cheese and rice, man. Low key fire. But yeah, so the, you're not gonna lose out on a lot of flavor with the chili. You're gonna get the rice that soaks up kind of that chili juice, or that sauce. You know what I mean? So honestly, it's just a kind of a perfect combo. And yeah, I did a little bit of, not a real dig, not a real dive, just a broad search online. And there's people who are like, that sounds weird. I would never eat that. And some people are like, that's all I ate. So maybe it's a regional thing, maybe just a family thing, I don't know. But best believe, if, when, I got a family and I make chili, I'm serving it with some rice. Especially, well, if I had a large family, for sure I would be. Hmm. It's like curry. A lot of times we'll eat curry with naan, bread, or rice, at least I will. I'm just not gonna eat curry straight up, like Indian curry, or even like Japanese curry. You eat it with rice. Because you wanna soak up all that sauce, you wanna, I guess, kinda stretch it, but it just, Stretching it sounds kind of like a like a negative, but in this case, it's a win-win, man. No lie, twenty-seven bucks, a bit hefty, a bit hefty. My money's not really getting stretched right here. But if you made this at home and. They don't, I've never seen canned chili. I'm sure you could find it somewhere around here, but never seen it, but it's cheap. Just throw that together with some rice and you can get a filling meal with a lot of things in it for cheap. So I wish I knew about this when I like 10 years ago. That's what I'm saying. When I was looking for any and all ways to just stretch my money paper thin to survive basically stretch my meals you know I would do the classic you know I would put like protein powder in to oatmeal and just try to kind of wolf that down just get some kind of nutrients I guess the most classic thing to do is go get a big old cheap loaf of white bread and then just anything you eat just make a sandwich out of it you know Because bread, cheap bread, is the ultimate stretcher. No lie though, this is mighty fine. This is home style, comfort food, even though I never had it before. But also, something that's a little bit unique and new to me, so I'm loving this, man. Absolutely loving this. And if you're someone who's like, eh, that sounds weird. Well, I mean, have you ever heard of rice and beans? It's like rice and beans with chili meats and other stuff. That's another one, rice and beans. That's a real, that's a real stretch here right there. Pasta can help to stretch things. It's a, there's a balance. I mean, you don't want to make it too, stretch it too thin or else it's just going to lose all flavor. That's why, personally, curries, chilies, stews. Like stew with rice. I think that's a thing, too. Eating, um, putting 
stew over rice and just eating all together. Never had that either. But I bet you it would be good. The thing about stew, like a good hearty beef stew, one of the, my favorite flavors in the whole world is butter with bread dipped into the stew sauce and maybe, you know, throw a little bit of stewed meat in there too. That flavor combo. Let's just take out the meat. Three different flavors there, but it just, it's unreal. This is pretty unreal too, in a good way. I'll tell you what, I kind of wish I got three orders, but it is what it is, man. God damn, that was good. The cheese, pretty crucial in my opinion, and that sour cream was nice too. Although, sometimes over here in Korea, they say they're gonna give you sour cream, but they actually give you like Greek yogurt. And I feel like this was more of the Greek yogurt than the sour cream, but still, maybe a little bit healthier for you. Anyway, it's chili and rice, chili rice, whatever you wanna do, it. it's home style, it's, it's, Filling, cheap, should be cheap and delicious. If you never had it, try it. There you go. There you have it. I'm skating out of here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Oh. Man, that was, that was, no lie, that was good. Zero lies. Never lied. Never lost. Pretty clean eat too. Didn't even need one of these.